Hey everyone, I'm Nathaniel. Welcome to our joyful house. Today I'm doing Fly Lady's weekly home blessing hour. What I love about this is that it only takes me one hour to get through my house and clean the main areas and I change my sheets, I empty the garbages, I polish mirrors, vacuum, dust, and mop but you only spend 10 minutes on each task. So it's kind of like a power hour where you just go really fast. I set a timer for 10 minutes, get each thing done. And what I really love about this, this time of year of getting back to school is that with me homeschooling my kids, I do not have a lot of time to spend cleaning. I have more time in the summer when my kids you know, or outside playing or doing different things. But during the school year, I just don't have a lot of time to spend cleaning. So I love this weekly home blessing hour that the fly lady came up with to help me get through my house and it feels clean. It's not deep cleaning. It's just going through and cleaning it quickly so that it looks great and it blesses your family and me so that I feel like my house looks really nice. So I hope you'll join me and if you've never done this before, let me know in the comments. If you've done it before, let me know what you think about it and if you really enjoy using it, if you find it to be useful. So let's get cleaning. I like to start with taking the sheets off of my bed. Now sometimes I'll do my kids sheets as well, but today I just did mine. So I get them off and throw them in the washer and then about halfway through my cleaning, I can throw them in the dryer. Usually when I'm done with the whole hour of cleaning, I can then go back and put them on my bed. Next, I like to empty all the garbages in the house. I don't usually set a timer for those two because they're done so quickly. So if I have to add just a little bit more time to get these other jobs done, I will. So sometimes I can get this done in less than an hour, which is nice. I'm going to go through and polish my bathroom mirrors and then I have some doors and windows that could use it as well. It's nice having 10 minutes for this because I always have doors and windows that have little kid fingerprints all over them. So I just pick the ones that are the worst and get those done in the 10 minutes. up now we're moving on to the next task of tidying and dusting now fly lady just says to dust but I usually have to tidy just a little bit before I can dust so I kind of just do it as I'm going through each room I like to have a basket to put things in that don't belong in that room and then usually at the end of my cleaning I'll go and put everything away so as you can see here I'm just throwing stuff into the basket that doesn't belong and I'll put that away later
as you can see, it's just a really quick dust. I love this feather duster that I bought from Walmart a long time ago. It's fun to use and you can just easily dust around things. I don't move things too much because like I said, this is just supposed to be really quick. I'm planning on uploading another video here in the next couple days with just music and a timer that you could clean along with. So if that's something of interest to you, make sure you come back and check that out. All right, now we're moving on to task number five and that's vacuum. Just going to work through each room and vacuum it quickly and get that done. Again, I'm not really moving stuff, I'm just vacuuming under it or around it the best I can. I do have to move my kitchen chairs though as my kids are messy eaters. Okay, the final task is mopping. Now I just took a Swiffer mop that I have and I had this microfiber mop cloth. It doesn't really fit the Swiffer head too well. It's a little bit big. So I just took a hair tie and tied it onto there. It actually worked really good. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but you just do it pretty quickly. Now I do love using my O-Cedar mop, but for this, I just needed something that was quick and easy. So I grabbed my spray bottle that I put hot water and a little bit of dish soap in and some lemon essential oil to make it smell good. And I just spray it and then come back and mop the areas. I 
was pretty amazing to me how well the timer helped me get things done. And you definitely don't need to do a workout this day because this is your workout. I was so sweaty and tired by the end. It was such a great feeling to get through my main areas in one hour. I was really happy with it. I did let the floor dry where my chairs go and then I came back and mopped the rest of it. Okay, I'm done with Fly Lady's Weekly Home Blessing. I really liked doing it. Um, I haven't done it for quite a while, so I decided to give it a try, and I really liked how I was able to get through my main areas in one hour. I loved having the timer set to 10 minutes, and I was um, miraculously able to get it done. I was impressed, but just having that timer for me really kept me on track, kept me moving, and as you could see, it's just a really quick dust, really quick vacuum and mop. It's not deep cleaning. I'll come back and do that another time when I have more time to do that. But I'm looking forward to implementing this during the school season. I'm curious what your thoughts are. If you like this type of cleaning, like kind of a power hour type thing, if that suits your schedule better, or if you like doing something else, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video, if you'd like to see more like it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.